Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Sparkle Kavi. Today I am going to show you how to make this zipper pouch. Uh, it's expandable pouch or you can say popcorn pouch because it looks like a popcorn bag. Uh, this is fully lined, no raw edges. It looks slim but holds big things like this. So I have placed a crayon box inside and it nicely fits inside. You can make them in different sizes. They look very cute. You can even use the smaller one as a keychain. So all the sizes are given in the description box below. Following the uh, instruction you can make the smaller one also. So let's see what you will need to make this pouch. To make this pouch, you are going to need one outer panel, one lining and one lightweight fusible interfacing. Interfacing is optional. You can even make this pouch without interfacing. All are of same measurement. Uh, it's 12 inches wide by 8 inches long. Then you are going to need a 2 inch wide strip. 2 by 12 to 13 inches long approximately uh, we are going to use this strip to add bindings on our pouch you can use the same as the outer panel or you can uh, use any different color or um, solid or anything then uh, we are going to need a zipper you can use the regular zipper here i am using zipper by the yard so uh, we are going to need 8 inch long zipper but I have taken 10 inches then you are going to need one zipper pull so this is 5 number zipper so uh, let's start first fuse the interfacing to the wrong side of the fabric now install the zipper on the short side of the fabric lay your fabric flat then lay your zipper with right side facing toward the right side of fabric then lay your lining on top of it with right side facing down align everything and clip now make a stitch from all the way down now make a top stitch flip the outer panel toward the zipper clip them then flip this over and again flip this outer uh, sorry flip this lining on the zipper make a stitch Now open the zipper, you have to turn it so it will look like this. You are using the regular zipper, zipper pull will be uh, here so you won't open all the way uh, till end. So here I am using this by the yard zipper so I can uh, open it and that's why I like to use uh, by the yard zippers so now open this and top stitch the other side so you can see it will look like this now we will attach our zipper pull to it
when i attach zipper i always uh, open uh, pull some teeth so that i can uh, easily push the zipper uh, while while holding this uh, teeth and the zipper will go easily so our uh, zipper is also installed now fold your fabric in half then make a little cut to get the center point or you can mark the point also of on the other side also now match the uh, the this line of zipper to this uh, center mark on the other side also so after this take your ruler and mark 1 inch above from this fold make a line all the way down uh, make sure you use a uh, washable pen or uh, chalk then mark the line on the other side also and on the back side also now you have to match both the lines now fold this make a small make make a small fold on the line then make another small fold on the other line of the same side and then join the two together and clip clip it so uh, i will show you one more time you have to uh, include the lining also so hold this uh, hold this fabric where we have made the line fold it little bit then fold the other line also or uh, other mark also and then join the match the two lines together or two folds together like this arrange it so you have this fold uh, it's like uh, accordion fold do the same for the other side also so it will look like this so both the sides are uh, clipped cut the extra zippers from both the sides make sure to bring the zipper pull in the center before cutting the extra zipper make stitch on both the sides with 1/8 inch seam now take your binding fabric and uh, cut it in half now lay your binding fabric with right side facing up then place your zipper pouch with zipper facing down in the center approximately in the center then wrap the binding around the sides 
and pin. Sew a quarter inch seam allowance on both the sides. Now flip your binding out and then fold the binding twice so that you so that all the raw edges will be hide so as you can see there are no raw edges make sure you match the front and the uh, back of the binding they are in the same line now make a stitch one eighth inch away from the uh, edge of the binding if you want to add uh, ties like this to hold your pouch then uh, make a bias binding and then uh, hold the two ends together and make a stitch then then lay your binding lay your pouch on top of it then lay your this little tie and then do the same as we did for the this pouch make a stitch so as you can see i have attached this tie now uh, unfold it and then double fold top stitch it make sure you flip this tie to the opposite side so that it will uh, get stitched in in this stitch and it will look like this So you can see I have attached the binding now I will quickly finish this also no raw edges and your new expandable pouch is ready throw your stuff inside and enjoy your new pouch if you like today's tutorial then please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and i'll see you again next week till then take care bye bye Bye-bye.